Hey guys, it's Pope. I am back in Atlanta now, home from a very fun week at the CrossFit Games, and I am back full swing into training, preparing for the American Open 3 Series, which is going to be in Daytona, and I'm really looking forward to doing this competition, not only to get back on the platform myself, but I am bringing two of my own lifters to the meet and going to be playing both sides of the game at this meet, doing the coaching role and athlete role. So that's gonna be a lot of fun for me. Kind of different challenge to a meet and I've been working with these girls for about four months now and they are kicking butt. I'm really excited for them. So I'm almost more excited to go coach these girls that I put a different kind of work into than I am for myself. But also training is going pretty well. So all in all, really looking forward to Daytona. So today is a big training day for me going to be doing a lot of snatches, doing some every minute on the minute snatching, which I really like training the snatch like that. It uh, mimics how competition warm-ups can go a lot of the time. And then I'm also going to be doing some back squats. I haven't done a like full day vlog in quite a while, so today is going to be just everything that I'm doing throughout the day, not just my workout. Just gonna be an actual vlog for the first time in a while. So it's gonna be a fun, fun day. Before I head out into the gym, I am starting my day with some amino octane. Universal is my sponsor, and this is my favorite product. It is BCAAs and caffeine. It has 125 milligrams caffeine. I use this every day as my pre-workout. Love it. Today using the fruit punch. Let's go get warmed up. Truffle, you ready to work out? Okay, let's go.
just finished up my workout and actually went really good. I was super happy with my snatches. I did an EMOM workout and I had six to do at 80 kilos and then 84, 84, 86. And I'm so close to finishing it, just barely missed that 86 there at the end, but I was actually really happy with the pull. It was super strong, I just let it loop forward a little bit, so it ended up behind. 84s weren't quite a strong feeling, but got kind of pumped up for that 86 last rep. Ah, wish I made it, but that was a lot of volume, so I'm proud of what I did accomplish today. Then on my squats, I really wanted to do a set of five at 130, and my legs are just still trashed from doing that one ton challenge. They're not recovered. So that kind of made me feel even better about my snatches when I felt how tired I still am and my legs on my squats. So I ended up dropping it down to 110 and did a grindy set at 110 just to get some work in. <laughs> Overall, that was a really good workout. So now I am going to cool down a bit, do some stretches, and then head in and going to do some work for a little while. Mixing up my post-workout shake now, I am having some of this that I just got in, chocolate ice cream whey protein. Gotta find the scooper. Oh boy, all the way in the bottom. <laughs> and now I'm going to do my weightlifting check-ins. Laura having nice things to say about my programming. With her right now, I'm trying to work on this foot not being tight roped. I don't want it in the center, I want it over here to the side. Let's see if she fixed it on the second rep. A little bit better, much more stable. <laughs> she knew it. Now I'm doing Danielle's check-in, which I'm laughing at this. Sorry for the head shake. That's one of like my pet peeves in coaching is uh, showing frustration while the bar is still overhead. Let's see. Let's see how she did here. <laughs> Just a little one. We'll, we'll let that one slide. Just trying to work on positivity. Here's why that's a big pet peeve though. If you have your entire body loaded with weight over your head, does it seem like a smart idea to twist your spine and shake your head? No, that is not a smart idea. Oh yeah, definitely redeemed herself on these jerks. We've been working hard on that split stance. Okay, and now Stacy is doing the workout that I just did because I am doing these same workouts with them. It looks like she got about just as far through the EMOM as I did. Oh, beautiful. Really working on her turnover, trying to get rid of any pressing. Tiny bit of shoulder press, but I think that would have would fly in competition. Stacy and Laura are two of the lifters that I'm taking with me to Daytona. So that's why we're doing the same workouts. We're all in meat prep mode. And it's really fun to like be able to compare with my athletes doing the same stuff. Really enjoying it. Charlie, come. Good boy. Good boy, can you sit? Oh, good boy, lazy boy. You sleepy? Finished up with weightlifting coaching now. I already completed all of my nutrition check-ins for the week. I have all of those check-in on the first half of the week, so I spend most of my working time doing that early in the week. And then later in the week, I just focus on the weightlifting and content creation and working on editing and Instagram stuff I'm going to be posting and working on apparel, stuff like that. So I try to divide my week up so I can focus on my nutrition clients and get them all checked in and then I focus on my other projects. Now that I'm done working, I am heading to therapy. I go regularly and I haven't been in a few weeks and I'm excited to see my therapist today actually. A lot of times I kind of dread going but it's something I like need to do for personal growth and today I'm excited because it hasn't been a while. <laughs> I'm pretty much obsessed with anything involving marshmallow. This song is one of my favorites right now.
therapy was a very good session today. It's very productive. Now I'm heading into Target because I want some new slippers. I literally live in slippers at home. <laughs> like 24 seven when I'm at my house, I always have my slippers on. Anyway, I'm out into the gym even. <laughs> And the ones I've had for like a year and a half just got a hole in the bottom of them. I can't wear them. So I'm about to find some new ones. It is like one million degrees out here. I think it's 95 today in Georgia. Ooh, it's hot. Kind of digging these. More of these. I think I'm gonna go with the booty ones. These look very comfortable. I decided to also overhaul my towel collection. For my bathroom, I already have some of these peach ones and the guest bath because you can't go to Target and not get stuff you didn't plan on getting, right? The rest of today, I've just been chilling at home, doing laundry and mainly just relaxing. This was actually a pretty fun day that I got to record today. I didn't have too much going on. Now I'm heading to the movies. I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie. I'm going to see The Kitchen, which has Melissa McCarthy in it, who's super funny, and the girl from The Handmaid's Tale, so I think this is gonna be really good. And we have one of those movie taverns where you get to eat while you watch a movie. Makes it so much better. Lucky to have one by the house. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. You are hereby sentenced to three years, sentences to be served, and Eastern correction.